Be a fun way to escape from the heat as well. Yeah, if you're not a fan idea. of maybe cooling off in the pool, go inside. Love to a new it. restaurant. This is a good opportunity for you. Out the door this morning, we're already quite warm. We're at 77 degrees in Lawrence. We have some broken cloud cover in the state, but we are dry. You do not need any rain gear today. You need to prepare for the fact that it's going to be very warm and muggy. It's going to be bright. Take the sunglasses and sunblock too, and make sure you stay hydrated. We have a heat advisory that is currently in effect now for most of central Indiana, and this goes through Thursday evening. On top of that, an excessive heat watch has been issued. This is for Wednesday and Thursday, as those will be the hottest days of this week. And you can see that heat expanding across much of central, the central U.S. with excessive heat warnings as close as southern Indiana and into Illinois, most of the state of Illinois, in fact, and then all the way down towards Texas. The temperature out the door in Indy right now, we're at 78 degrees. Dew point temperatures in the mid 70s right now. 81 is what it feels like out there. Once you factor in that dew point, it feels a few degrees warmer than it actually is. And we are going to be dealing with very high heat index temperatures as we head on into this afternoon. By the lunch hour, expect the air temperature to be in the mid 80s. Late this afternoon, I'm looking at a high of 92. That would be the hottest air of the year so far. We've hit 91 on two other days. We're even looking at hotter temperatures as we head into the next couple of afternoons. More important than that, the fact that it's going to just feel so hot. Here's that heat index as we get towards 4 o'clock, feeling like 100 degrees even as we get into the early evening hours. This is about 7 o'clock here on Future View, still hanging on to those triple digit heat indices. As we head through the next few days, we have some records that could be in jeopardy. The record high temperature for Wednesday that is set at 96 from back in 1936. I'm forecasting a high of 96 degrees getting into Thursday. The record is 98. I think we're going to meet or beat it. I'm forecasting to beat it with a high of 99 and then on into Friday. Well, it's still looking to be hot. I don't think this one's in jeopardy. The record is 96. I'm forecasting 92 and that'll be a transitional day as well as we'll be looking at the heat to start to break, but we won't really feel it until the weekend this evening. If you have plans to be outdoors, eight o'clock temperatures mid and upper 80s, it'll still feel like it's in the mid 90s. 10 o'clock while well, temperatures just a few degrees cooler and this area of high pressure has just expanded across much of the states and we're going to continue to be in this heat until we get towards the back half or at least the back uh, end of the work week. Friday still hot, but we'll be watching for a cold front to come on through and we're going to get back into that northwesterly flow as we get into the weekend and that's going to knock those temperatures down. So if you aren't a fan of the heat, I have some relief in sight. I have 92 today up to 93. Tuesday, 96 Wednesday, 99 Thursday. Sunshine mixed with clouds all of these days. Then we'll bring back some widely scattered rain and storm chances as we get into Friday. Still hot, 92. We'll feel a transition to 83 by Saturday. 77 is so all that high is going to be by